Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Right, I've got another purchase. This purchase I bought also from Banggood and I thought it's getting close to Christmas. Uh, let's have some fun with uh, an Aldrino and things like that. I'm going to do some projects which I'm going to post and hopefully the source code. Uh, can't remember the price though. They was about £13 delivered I believe. It's the 50 WS2811 LEDs. They're individually addressable. You can pick how bright you have them, what color you have them. Uh, so you can do anything from just crazy Christmas lights to almost a dot matrix display. I mean, the world's your oyster if you feel like programming that. Uh, but I did get them these the other day and I've been scratching my head for a little while until I found out the first uh, lamp was uh, actually duff. Uh, here it is here, I've actually removed it. Uh, they do come with a 3 pin plug socket either end so you can daisy chain these. Uh, bear in mind that they, uh, people say these will take about 3 amps, just this uh, row of 50. Obviously if you daisy chain more uh, you're going to run into uh, current issues or whatever. Uh, I'll, I can presume you could probably run probably four sets quite happily if you had the power. But after that, obviously, the cables probably get a bit thin. But uh, there's ways around that. Anyway, back to this. Uh, the good thing about this is I could probably get to show a bit closer up. Come on, focus. I don't know if it's focused or not. Okay, this is the inside. I've actually removed, it's like a silicon rubbery mold type thing. Looks like you can drill a hole and push these because uh, there's like a, a lug which will hold them in a panel. So you could panel mount them. They're totally waterproof. I've actually taken the plastic off. And I don't know if you can see, but I'll try to dig it out here, but they are totally epoxy sealed. Oops, I'm not even on camera. See, I'll try to dig it out here, but they're totally epoxy sealed. This is the chip, the WS2811. And obviously this is like a tricolor LED. Uh, you've got your plus which is red and strangely enough it's got a bit overexposed there strangely enough the negative is the white it's 5 volts and you got this green wire one side's data in one side's data out so you can only input really one end let me just zoom this out uh, my input end is this end and obviously the outputs this end but you could there's no reason why you you couldn't put your data at this end and your power at this end if it makes it easier right so what I've got now is I've got old trusty power supply it's set on 5 volts it's a 5 volt set and I've got the Arduino Mega this is just programmed up with a default uh, sketch. I think it's one of the fast LED ones. Right. I've got a power bank to power the Arduino. And uh, yeah, I've got a lead, right. Right, first things first. We'll connect up the supply. Bear in mind these things do absolutely nothing until programs. You can buy a module to plug in to run these if needed. Right, I need to common the grounds. Can I do this without losing? Probably not. So I need to common the ground here. I'll 
go on kitten right I think it's on at the moment okay this one I don't need and I can't remember which is data pin so I'm just gonna fire up the Arduino and find it so I just I'm just powering it by a USB and it's the USB block okay let's switch the power supply on let's make sure we have 5 volts yes 5 volts on as you see powered on no life now where was uh, can't remember where it was here it is okay this is the sketch running It's only a little random pattern, and in the future, what I will do is I'll actually do some programs and post them up, so anyone following along could have a bash. But as I said, this is just a demo. I haven't changed anything apart from the I think the pin number. I think I changed. So I'll just let that go for a bit. Okay, I've just switched the lights off just to get a bit better effect. Uh, I'm going to let these run for a little while. And if you wanted to subscribe to my channel, just click on the picture of me here. Many thanks for watching.